Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm going to be talking about a particular post uh, when it comes to the Monster Taming Convention, MonCon, the online Monster Taming Convention, which if you don't know, you can go in the bottom right of your screen, see monstertaming.com, you can find out more about it, it's going to be happening on the 23rd, I thought, you know, I'm, I put a post up on Imager, and some idiot was in the comment, and, uh, comment section, I can make a video out of this. And also raising awareness about Monster, the Monster, MonCon, you know, the online Monster Taming Convention 2021, which next year I will have another one, and it's going to be bigger and better. So what I initially did was uh, just put a post up, as you see, it's why indie, taming, uh, indie Mon Taming games aren't copyright infringements, which you hear a lot when it comes with, uh, oh, this is a ripoff of Pokemon. And of course, it's not just saying hey you've taken the assets you've taken the ideas uh it's a ripoff you know just like people were calling genshin impact uh a ripoff of breath of the wild you know it's a claim that also says hey this is a copyright infringement therefore it's criminal it's bad clues people is what i call them sometimes acting in bad faith so i got i made this image which is just stephen kinsella She's a patent attorney, been writing about IP for more than I've been alive. Quite a few years more than I've been alive. He's written many books, many articles, made hundreds of podcasts about intellectual property. I've I've read uh, so many. I've listened to also probably hundreds of his podcasts. But in particular, in this one paper, he says, uh, Copyrights protect only the form or expression of ideas not the underlying ideas themselves, which is what deflates this, but it's a copyright infringement attack uh, on indie mon taming game, monster taming games, because Pokemon does not have a copyright in the genre, which first off, even if that was a thing, Shin Megami Tensei came before it. But that aside, you can't just claim a whole genre of a game, period. You know, period. You, you just can't. So I put this up as a defense of Montaming Games. I thought, well, this is a really good quote. Why not put this up? It. This is still an issue. People still call them Pokemon clones, Pokemon ripoffs. It's still an issue. I'm sure in a few years it won't be just like there used to be things called Doom clones, which now it's just FPSs, you know. Anyways, that's what I put. Pretty tame. Extremely tame. In fact, I'm I'm defending a whole genre of indie games that aren't legally breaking any rules. There's no copyright infringement at all. But of course, some idiots, to be quite frank, had a problem with this, particularly this one. So this dude's like, won't stop a Goliath like Nintendo from suing a smaller company into oblivion. Now, de facto, yes, copyright is going to be what companies can drown out other companies uh, when it comes to lawsuits. Sure, Nintendo could try to sue all these games, and many might just drop out because of the legal fees, but this has nothing, this, which is something that I know about, because I'm, a, I'm for the abolition of IP legislation, and I know that that's a problem where these companies are able to go with copyright and patents uh, and try to attack smaller companies that didn't actually infringe upon any um, patent or any copyright. I know what's happening. I, I understand this. But given the context of, I'm trying to say, hey, they aren't copyright infringers. Like, this is a defense. You know, some call indie monster taming games ripoffs. But what they're really lodging at them is the criticism that they infringe upon the Pokemon company's copyrights. That just isn't the case. So what I'm trying to do is I'm, the context makes it very clear. I am defending the genre and this dude's like, well, stop Nintendo. Now, given the context, it's, this dude's not just stating a fact like, hey, yeah, but you know, with copyright, they can still go after him. You know, they, they can still go after them even if they really do, uh, you know, even if they're not infringing on copyrights, Nintendo can still go after them. True enough. But given the context, it's kind of like, 
why would you mention that when it comes to this? That wasn't part of the conversation. This is obviously a defense of a whole genre of games, and this man obviously is moving the goalposts, as I point out later, just going from, well, they're infringing on a copyright, to, well, Nintendo can still sue them. It's pretty obvious what's happening here. So, I go on, it's like, well, I'll be waiting for you to pull up a recent example of Nintendo going after an indie Montaming game. That isn't happening. Because, obviously, what he's trying to say is, well, they're going to go after them. That's not been the case. Now, they can. They can. And that's a horrible thing about copyright, inherently, is that they can. But that isn't what's happening. The If this was happening, I'd actually understand him bringing that up. Because it's like, man, yeah, they don't have, they're not infringing on copyright. My man Nintendo's really smacking them down. But that's not the case. Not with indie monster taming games. Maybe for ROM and fan games, but those are derivatives of an original work, which would specifically be the Pokemon uh, franchise. Well, there's many different trademarks and things like that, which actually does go into trademark stuff. Uh, it can with uh, specific monsters, uh, specific Pokemon. So, it's like... <laughs> That's not the point. The point is that you have you can have an ironclad case, but a large company will still win by spending hundreds of thousands. Again, that is true. That is an evil of copyright, absolutely, but how is it relevant? The only way that point is relevant is to try to go after indie monster entertainment games from shifting uh, the goalpost approach. Um, a little guy can't pay the legal fees and it ends up and end up being crushed. It happens all the time. Again, yes, I know this, but Pokemon isn't going after direct competitors that aren't derivatives. That's just the truth. That's the situation. That's a matter of fact. I know this, but again, why is he bringing it up? Why is it relevant to me defending them? This is not just a matter-of-fact kind of statement. As you can see, uh, when he gets more hostile, uh, that's true. That he, It's definitely not a matter-of-fact, because it's like, why would you bring that up? I'm like, yes, cool, duh, thank you. It wasn't like, oh, it's a shame that it won't stop. It just won't stop. Okay, given the context and what his future comments will be, you can see. So... And it's like going okay. First off, it starts down here, which is see how we've moved from any mon taming games are wrong because of copyright to well, Nintendo can still sue them, and that's exactly what I've been saying. It's why would he bring this up other than to still lodge a criticism at them? Like, okay, you know, you can say, okay, it's like, thank you for bringing up this point. And there's no point in him bringing that up because it isn't like Nintendo's going after competitors to Pokemon, Super Mario, things like that, that are direct competitors that are not derivatives. So, of course, it's like, of course, they can, I mean, put they can try to sue them, but they haven't been. I'm not sure what your argument, uh, I was on the phone at the time, as you can see, via iPhone. I'm not sure what your argument is besides just trying to attack non-Pokemon Mon games. I mean, otherwise it's completely irrelevant and you shouldn't have commented. It has nothing to do with the conversation at hand. Um, So, this dude's like, obviously trying to still attack and lodge criticisms at a whole genre. It's like, I would advise you not to act like that. Uh, act like, I do not know what the evils of copyright. I advocate for IP law. Abolition, because this guy's obviously hostile, especially given that there's other hostile stuff down here. And, oh, where is it? There we go. I used to work in the United States Patent and Trademark Office. You can F yourself with your advice. Which is more evidence that he was not doing this matter of fact. It's like, bring up an irrelevant point. That would only be relevant if it's still a criticism. Um, uh, 
you know, and then he goes on and I'm like, you know, don't try Cause what he's trying to do is like, Oh, well, you don't know. He's trying to act like, I don't know the situation. I know it. I've read a crap ton about it. Listen to a crap ton about it. Read a book. book. It's actually like a few books about it. Um, it's like, man, I know the situation. So don't, you know, he's trying to play it up like, oh, you don't understand. I do. So I'm like, hey, you know, back off. Because he's obviously hostile. So I used to work in the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Again, irrelevant. Now, we're still not the kicker here, the main point of it all. But irrelevant, first off, used to work. Oh, wow. Let me let me clap for you. Well, that's got nothing to do here or there. And then, if you're still with your advice, what does this mean? That instead I should just, oh yeah, I, you know, I know the situation. Please go keep, keep on lecturing me about the evils of IP as if I don't know it. Dude needs to screw off. Now, get in the context, because there's more to it. So, Mike, so you come on my post, making a relevant point that. Still seems like an excuse to attack Mon Games. I say, I already know. So F me? Oh, and uh, where you work is irrelevant to me, knowing the evils of IP as well. It's like, go on with your miserable, miserable self, because obviously this person is miserable. Obviously this person is wanting to bring down a whole genre of games. For God knows what reason. I mean, honestly, that you can ask that when people attack Pokemon... Uh, you know what they call Pokemon uh, ripoffs, Pokemon clones, which are not that because they're not ROM hacks. They're not fan games about Pokemon. You know, you can ask like, why are they still attacking? Why are they attacking these indie Montana games? Same with this dude. Like, why? Only only God knows why why they're doing this crap. So, it's like. Oh, and, and where you work is irrelevant to me knowing the evils of IP as well. Okay, yeah, I mean, now, this person's obviously hostile. Why would he bring up something? I'm going to, with the context, say that what makes more sense is that he's lodging a criticism. Then he acts like, I don't know the evils of IP, which, by the way, just look at the name of where it came from, the case against intellectual property, so... I don't know what this dude thinks I've been reading or what it's about. But he acts like I don't know the evils about IP. And, um, and he goes like this. Okay, so here's what we'll do. I'll report Monster Gaming. Of course, he ends up correcting himself and saying, uh, Monster Taming. I'll uh, report MonsterTaming.com to Nintendo's legal department for IP infringement, and we'll see what happens. So he makes an irrelevant point. It, an irrelevant point argumentation was it's only irrelevant uh it's only relevant in that he obviously is hostile towards games uh monster taming games indie monster monster taming games so it makes an irrelevant point argumentation wise then he brings up another irrelevant point about where he works and then or when it comes to argumentation and then he makes this irrelevant threat um to Report monstertaming.com to Nintendo's legal department for IP infringement. As if that's going to prove his point. The, he's obvious. I mean, what point is there to prove? It can't be that big companies can go after smaller people. I already know that. I've already said I know that. The only point here is to be mean and nasty. Of course, he corrected himself. Of course, I did have one last word, and it's just, I got a bare proposal. Go after yourself. I, I do think everyone can agree that, besides people who are uh, sympathizers with uh, this idiot, or besides them, I, I think we can all say, yes, yeah, yeah that, that's a that's a better proposal. So, why don't we look at monstertaming.com? Huh. Man, nothing 
Pokemon? No. Anything that looks like it's derived with Pokemon? Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what about this monster? Is this derivative of Pokemon? Oh, dang. No, it's just a commission, and it's a monster, which Pokemon doesn't have the copyright in making monsters. I mean, the yeah, the copyright in the process of making monsters or making monsters. Oh, wow. Hmm. Actually, let's go to games. You know, maybe there's something there, you know? Uh, surely, I, I mean, surely they're, they're just gonna be like Pokemon Brown or something in here. I'm guessing, or one where it's obviously Charmander, just slightly different, like when these fan games. Or maybe there's gonna be a branch evolution of another Pokemon that we all know. Hmm. Weird. It ain't here. It's almost as if. There's nothing derivative of, well, nothing from the original works of Pokemon or derivative of it. The closest thing he can even try to say is this. And the problem is, once again, copyright doesn't put the, that copyright does not cover the underlying ideas. And unless someone's trying to say that turn-based games aren't, an underlying idea? This is all irrelevant. I mean, seriously. There's nothing derivative. You know, this crap, which is something cool I, I wanted to be made. I wanted a logo, and I kept thinking about a logo, and I remembered something. I like the colors from um, this one image. Uh, I'd seen, I'm like, oh, you know, so I got someone to commission that, and, yeah, I mean, obviously what this is, is, you know, where the monster that's going to battle this little dude is going to come out of, which, again, it's an underlying idea to have some monster containment device. Each monster tame game pretty much has one. I mean, I guess a few don't, but it's because it's like they're friends or they're sentient beings and they aren't captured or they aren't tamed or they aren't contracted. A million different things. This dude. Let me get back to it. Uh, okay, right here. This dude. Drunk BS, well, which is an ironic name, given that's what he's spouting. It's it's obvious. This dude doesn't know what he's talking about. He's truly spitting out some drunk BS. And yet, he's actually trying to cancel Moncon. Out of all things, trying to report it to Nintendo's legal department for IP. Of course, I don't know. If he's actually going to do this, or he's, I mean, you know. He could, he couldn't. Honestly, I would say it's 50-50. You know, it could be an empty, someone's being an idiot on the internet. It could also be, it's super simple to send an email, and that's what he's going to do. So, first time I've had anything of mine, or at least someone trying to cancel me, because this is definitely a form of canceling, uh trying to make Nintendo smack me down with a cease and desist. <sighs> There's idiots. And even when you try to defend a whole genre of games, because right now it's not cool to defend the, uh, them, you get attacked to the apparently to the point of them trying to cancel an event. It's just I've gotten sick and tired. The reason why I'm is because I've got sick and tired of seeing indie monster taming games being portrayed as if they were some 
derivative of Pokemon, as if Pokemon was the first, you know, it's end all be all of all in of all monster taming games ever can be. There's never been any before. There can never be any after. Let's ignore Digimon. Let's you know ignore Yokai, Tam Tam. Let's ignore all them. You know, no, they've got to be Pokemon clones. They've got to be Pokemon ripoffs. Oh, this game is pixel art. <gasps> oh my God, those are trees. Trees, Pokemon, Pokemon had trees in it. Oh my God, this is directly ripped from Pokemon Red, Yellow, and Blue, isn't it? Which I have literally seen somebody say that before, attacking a monster taming game, and that is the level of intelligence and honesty these people have when it comes to this. These people are often not acting in good faith. Period. These people want to attack. A game. A whole genre. I don't quite understand it. I, I it, may, it may be just because of like a... The only thing they know in that realm is Pokemon. Therefore, anything that's like it. And it might be, well... I mean, honestly, there's been a ton of ROM hacks, fan games that are that straight up like Pokemon Uranium, Pokemon Brown, Pokemon Prism. Uh, so many of them. Uh, you know, and they are technically copyright infringements. And there's been a ton of them to a point of some of them making them to cartridges. There's been a lot of fake Pokemon stuff out there. So it might be that people have kind of been like, whoa, that's fake. That's bullcrap. That's not legitimate. Stop trying to scam me. And then they've taken it to this budding genre. Indie genre. Sure, there's always been Monster Taming games besides uh, Pokemon. Uh, you know, ever since, you know, even, even before Pokemon. But I'm saying even smaller games. But it's definitely exploded. And these people, for some reason, want to bring down the whole genre. Uh, I'm guessing if you went and studied when people attacked FPSs as Doom clones, you probably could find some parallels. You might be able to get some more insight into it. But the point is... Monster Tame games, indie Monster Tame games, are not copyright infringements. Anyone that tells you otherwise is either ignorant of the law or an idiot. I don't, there's no, because either you are ignorant of the legislation and you just don't know any better, which, hey, IP law is stupid. IP law is complicated, it's convoluted. It, uh, there's contradictions within copyright itself. Can't blame you there. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be so quick to, to draw, uh, you know, and uh, try to attack whole genre, but I can't blame you for being ignorant of IP law. But those that do know it, and even those, some of them, those that ain't, just idiots. They're being hostile. Being horrible people what they are attacking people's work people that have done nothing wrong in relation to them <sighs> anyways if you want to check out monstertaming.com i would appreciate that if you want to if you're more interested in ip i have to recommend stephanconsella.com and specifically against intellectual property it covers it very well of course, he's got stuff like a concise guide against IP. He's got hundreds of episodes on it. He's got uh, on his uh, podcast, Kinsella on Liberty. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There's a ton of other, that. There's just a ton of content he's put out. Which is why I'm having a hard time remembering it all. Because there's just, uh, like, since 91 or something, he's been putting stuff out. And he's not let go. He's not let up. I might make a video about DMCA sometime. Who knows? Anyways, that's all for this video. If you want to share it, I'd greatly appreciate it because let others see that uh, some lowly idiot, heck, maybe he's a troll, on imagers trying to cancel Moncon. Why? Because I defended Monster Taming Games. 
And then he acted like I'm uh, ignorant. And I'm like, no, I'm not. So therefore, he apparently wants to report me to Nintendo. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And retro on.